In the world of striped bass plugs, the musky mania duck has made some serious oh. noise. Oh, come on. Literally. Oh, oh man! Oh. That's a big bass. Oh! Oh! Dude, that thing came airborne. The plug's massive size and knocking rattle has a knack for drawing strikes, even in broad daylight. If you've seen a striper attack a dock, you'll agree that the fish seem more motivated by anger than hunger, like punishing the plug with its tail and snout before engulfing it. So what makes the dock so good? Low frequency rattle, man. Travels through water. All spooks have been good since the beginning of time. The Zara spook, you know? I'm a pretty big believer in how sound travels through water. You know, if you stick a GoPro underwater and you work this plug back to the boat, about 30 feet away, you can hear it. So what do you have this, this so you've got the inline singles on this, what size? Uh, 9-0. So big. Right. I mean, this one still has the trebles because it just came out of the box, but the hookup ratio to big fish on the single treble is so much bigger. I mean, when we get it out, we can compare it, basically. The gap is just so, so much bigger. Yeah, so to compare the hook. So like, look at this. This is a 5-0. This is a very big treble. Look at that. It barely fits around there. 9-0, you know, it'll go all the way around. I mean, you can look. The gap. The gap is just so much bigger. So, I mean, people are like, oh, you think you want more points, but the holding power of this is so much better. Most of the time when we hook big bass, it actually ends up being on the belly hook and it's all the way around the jaw. Yeah, less We're, likely to straighten to the right. treble hook. So, I mean, that's why I would kind of compare them. And the other thing is they actually seem to work better because it's the drag is only these two points where you got these big old trebles hanging off, you know what I mean? Yeah, so it's gonna have a wider walk with less water resistance in there. In only a few years, the Musky Mania dock has cemented itself as one of the best topwaters and worst kept secrets in the striper fishing world. You and your crew at the Saltwater Edge, back when you worked there. If we want to clear the air about the dock and who discovered it first, I'm pretty sure it was Joel, the teacher, who was friends with Corey. And then Corey found out how good it was and he really like put it to his uses. And then I learned it from him that you could say it started from there. But I'm pretty sure it went Joel to Captain Corey Petrazic, and then that was it, you know? That's how, that's how I would say it went down. If you had to think of who was the first one to put it to use. It's funny, man, even the people that were making it had no idea how good this plug was for Striper. No. I mean, it's a musky plug. I mean, it definitely changed the way I fish, right? The style I fish, I mean. So now I do just pretty much a little bit of everything, but the definite light tackle, throwing the plug around, you well, know, and he's still the best at it. Yeah. Dude, there's gotta be like a dozen fish of all various sizes. Big bass. <laughs> still there. Got him. Got him. Oh my gosh, oh, look at all the bass. Look bass at all the bass. bass. Did you see that school of fish? I got the small one out of the bunch. I saw, dude, and that's not that small. Oh, that's a bass. That's a bass. Oh, look at him rolling! Oh! Get it, get it, come on, man. You got rubber hooks on that thing? <laughs> I'm watching your plug, I'm, I forget about I, trying to land the I'm fish. I'm watching your fish instead of my plug, dude. <laughs> All right. Look at that. Whoa. You know? First one of the morning, it's not terrible, right? <laughs> Don't tell anyone what we're doing. The dock is made by Musky Mania Lures and was originally designed for better hook sets on toothy musky, but it's the mesmerizing side-to-side -side action of the dock that has walked its way into the plug bags and oh, tackle oh, boxes there we go. of Northeast Striper there. Fishermen. It looked like it threw a lot of water. There's a lot of, there should be some good fish in here. There's no foreplay at all with that, man. He just Hammered came it. out of nowhere and smashed it. Look, look, at, the, look at the bass underneath, look at the bass underneath. Nice fish. Oh, oh, here we go. Yes, Jim. Oh, here we go. Chains on him, chains on him. I know, it's funny, like that's a nice fish, but you just want to get back in the water to see what else we can get. Yeah, small keeper. Man, he, the way he blew up on it, I thought that was gonna end up being a, whoop, bigger fish. Oh, it's stacked, it's stacked, it's stacked. Get right back in there. Look at the hummingbird. Oh my gosh, look at them all stacked on the hummingbird. Oh, here we go, here we go. Big one, got it. Get right over there, right over my line, man. 
I didn't even get the real big one. Right over my line. Yes. Oh, oh, chain's on. Unreal. Look at man. that. We got 30 inches. We got 20 pounders. We got. Oh, I've got a little blue. That's what I mean. The nine inch dock weighs around three ounces and comes in a number of colors. But most saltwater anglers stick with the bone colored blank. I mean, we're in 30 feet of water right now. They are thick. Oh, he's still there. Come on. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh. That's a big bass. Oh. oh, those are big. Dude, that thing came airborne. Oh. I was busy watching your fish, man. Out of the corner oh. of my eye, I just saw my plug come Dude, out of the water. He almost fish. hit the plug back into the boat. <laughs> You got him right behind you. Nice boil, dude. Oh, there there on, they are. Come on. So, Rob, probably no coincidence that this water temperature is about six degrees cooler than when we first started That's this it, morning. That's it, man. We had to just come back till we found that cool water. And these fish are a lot more active in this cooler water. Oh, just such a mixed bag of sizes over there. Oh, got bad. fish from there. I mean, they're getting a little bit bigger. Fish like that on top, you, I mean, you just can't beat it. The truth is, the dock secret has been out for a number of years. All right, let's unhook this girl and we'll get her back in. Send that one back so it can grow. You'd be wise to grab a couple for this year's spring run. Just don't tell anyone about it. The fish was that size that came clear out of the water like that. And you just don't see stripers that charged up that often that their entire body came out when he hit that plug. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 